All right, Nuka Knights, no more screwing around because Flash has a chance to close this out right here in the fourth set on Eye of the Storm. Calm is going to have to win the next two games to win this series. But really, Calm took Flash the distance in that last game. Real Rocky type of play from him. Although Rocky lost in the first movie too, so don't feel bad, Calm. I'm sure Calm doesn't feel as good as Rocky did at the end of the first movie. Adrian! I mean, Toss Girl! Okay, they're not dating, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so Calm definitely focused for this game. Another four-player map, so I'm hoping for another long game like the last game. See both these guys testing each other yet again, testing their builds. I hope they go for the same build again, too. So I uh, can see Calm adapt, see what he comes up with for a slight adaptation of Flash's build in that third game. There's Flash loading up the motor oil, getting ready to go. He's sitting there thinking, do I want spaghetti or Domino's tonight? Maybe Papa John's. I do like the garlic sauce. Okay, looks like we're getting ready to start. Like I said, four-player map, so another potentially long game. Hope so. But here we go. I'm so excited. Especially now that Calm is really showing great play. For the first time in this OSL, I think, except for his ZBZs. Two, one, zero. Because Calm always plays good, but uh, in that last game, he played pretty great. Just made a few bad decisions that uh, kind of allowed Flash to build up a huge tank army. But anyways, down at the 8 o'clock position in teal is Flash. Over at the 5 o'clock position in purple is Calm. Let's get some prediction from the Nuka Knights here for the fourth set. Funny Banana Man 94 writes, Let's go, Flash! Three exclamation points. Bouncing Betty 1 writes, The way Flash and Shine have both been playing, I want to see them uh, go to the finals. Flash is going to own the finals. This is from Jinx0044 writes, This is Sparta! Or, I mean, Flash for the win, smiley face. <laughs> There's another one from Fanged Cow one two three four five. Nice. Writes Flash versus Shine Finals and Flash wins three one. You heard it here first. Shine is the dark horse, but Flash eats metal for breakfast, so horses shouldn't be much of a challenge. That's pretty funny. But okay. And let's see what Flash is up to. Throwing down his supply depot. Could be going for his little Swiss Army knife build. Well, it looks like Calm getting up all of his drones. Not much happening. No cheese yet from these players. I'm very surprised. I thought by now, at least by the third set, one of these guys would go, go for a five pool or a proxy racks or proxy star porch or something. But nope, looks like standard play so far. Barrick's coming up to block that little choke area. I don't think it's going to be completely blocked. But if he goes in with maybe some units, going to make it awkward for Zerglings to run by. Second base coming up. Looks like a 12 hatch from Calm. Pretty safe on a four-player map. But that's going to make uh, uh, Flash's build. If he does go for his command center, that's going to make that a safe build as well. Being scouted by the Overlord, so both players know where each other is now. So Flash is going to go over there, sp scout that base. He's not going to have any Marines out to really deal with the, the 12 hatch. He's not building a forward racks or anything. So we can't completely humiliate Calm like he did against Jadong, at least not in this set. Maybe in set 5 on El Nino, if Calm manages to take this. There's uh, Flash coming in here, scouting that base, coming down, going to scout everything on inside the base. I'm so excited right now, because I don't know what these guys are going to go for. I'm very surprised so far that Calm hasn't gone for at least a two-base uh, lurker strategy of some kind, because that's really what he's known for. Uh, he's gone for very very good lurker play in these types of games but that might not be the best counter to what flash has because flash's build usually includes two scans one at his new base and one at his uh is a main so that makes it easier to scan against the lurkers and protect against them especially with that bunker there that flash likes to put up so Flash is going for his usual build getting out some marines just to start out with uh, throwing down his base and he's still in here getting the scout on that. Another early lair build from Calm. I don't see the third hatchery anywhere, so I think it's pretty much the same build from these guys yet again. So exciting to see how these guys are going to handle each other, how they're going to adapt. Calm, can you adapt? That is going to be the question. 
The column doesn't have the best position in the world for mutilist harassment, so that might not be the best option for him. And there's a supply depot coming up, kind of a semi-wall in from Flash, going to make it hard for the Zerglings to run by, and he's still staying in here with that scout. So Calm deciding to run back with his Zerglings to deny this scout. Calm trying to kill this SCV. The SCV is still running around, though, just to try, just to, try to see what building that Calm puts down next. I have a feeling it's going to be... Be a spire, though, since a calm. It looks like Calm has pretty much prepared the same build for all of his games, just to try to counter that type of build from Flash, which could be the smart thing to do. I mean, why go for a different strategy when you've already worked on a counter to what Flash goes for 99% of the time? But Flash does have his second base up, and he's probably going to lose this scout because Calm is running around, keeping that scout away. He has one Zergling tailing it, too. And now I think he has Zergling speed up. Yeah, he does have Zergling speed, so he's going to uh, kill that SCV, but not before the SCV is scouted that there's nothing over at the 3 o'clock. It's kind of a, mar a Marine wandering out. Not sure what Flash's plan was with that Marine. Maybe just to get another scout, uh, maybe run up to the 2 o'clock or the uh, 10 o'clock to see if there's a base. But it looks like Calm is taking the 2 o'clock right now. He's throwing down his hatchery up there. So this is pretty much the same build that he went for in the last game, but not the first game. The first game, he waited a long time to get that hatchery, and that's really what cost him. So it looks like he is adapting in real-time, real-time strategy games. Gotta love him. Stim being researched for Flash. He's going to prepare for the Mutas and get his scan up so he can scan and see if there is a spire in the area. Here comes the scan from Flash. Preparing all of his buildings, getting a bunch of everything out. There's the engineering bay. So he's going to get ready to put down those turrets. And this will probably be the crucial po point in the game. Because once uh, the turrets are destroyed, once the once uh, <laughs> Calm rather defeats the turrets, if he gets past the turrets before they're up, that is what really takes the game, I think. Because he'll be able to harass one base without any turrets in there at all. And he'll, he'll pretty much be able to break that threshold that he needs.